Look at this. This is beautiful. This is quite a cracking spot. You're going to be impressed. Happy days ahead. It's okay. Well, that didn't really go to plan. We've gone with the oyster Kilpatrick. Sorry? Did you like patient views? Yeah. Oh, Come man. on, Moosey. Good girl. Hi, me. Moosey. All right, first stop towards Marimbula, just outside of Sal, Marley Point. This is a free camp. Few people here actually, and we we're fortunate enough to get a spot right on the water, which is really good. Yeah, you're allowed fires, you're allowed dogs, has toilet facilities just here behind us. We're about to go and have a look at them, but yeah, top little spot. Check it out. Sun's coming down. I just put the drone up, good little halfway spot. Oh, settle down. Oh, yeah, you're on stock standards. You're only allowed to stay here for 48 hours maximum per month. So we first rocked in, we thought, oh, that's pretty cool, because then you don't have permanents everywhere. This van looks like it's been here since 1967. <laughs> She's a beauty. Check it out. He's doing a long 48 hours. Look at this. This is beautiful. Ah, well. Considering that we came up after I finished work, but yeah. it's good to stop it. Friday, isn't it? Friday? Friday, yeah. Okay, I don't know anymore. I'll we'll just, just finish work for the... You for, finished for last life. Friday. <laughs> I've just had an infestation of mosquitoes. <laughs> Have a look at Laura. <laughs> you right there, darling? You use so much spray. <laughs> I feel like I've got a hay fever now. <laughs> There's one there. Unfortunately, we had to spray this raid everywhere. Now everyone's like got mad hay fever and God knows what that's doing to us. How are you going out here, mate? Yeah, I've got my little portable fan on. Yeah. So. Does the trick? Yeah. Nice and cool, and it blows away the chemicals, so. so yeah, good stuff. Mm. It's actually not a bad little fan, that. Don't yeah. even need the Sirocco in, in the back there. Coco's, you're living the dream. Doesn't matter if she's sniffing it in. And um, how's your hay fever going, sweetheart? Yeah, got a number on us. <laughs> he just absolutely sprayed the shit out of the caravan. Now we can't breathe. It's on doing great. You gotta just turn the caravan on. That sucks golf balls through 20 metres of garden hose. All right, we're gonna call it a night. Uh, tomorrow we're off to Mar Marimbula. Um, and I uh, can't wait. The weather's supposed to be pretty good, isn't it? 
babe. Yeah, it's yeah. Right. yeah, better than what we've had. Yeah. So, um, so <laughs> sorry about the sniffles, but yeah, he <coughs> just got raided. <laughs> Um, probably wouldn't suggest using this stuff in your van. Oh, not the amount that you use, Jesus Christ. Oh, do we have mosquitoes? They're gone. <laughs> I might need some of that. We're about half an hour out of Marimbula. <coughs> oh, we just about had a disaster, you wouldn't believe it. Laura's coming here to go use the toilet because the toilets look all right on the outside over there, but I tell you what, you do not want to enter. Anyway, uh, we are cooking sausages in here before. I put the vent on and then open this hatch up Old mate forgot to close the hatch, didn't he? So she looked like a bloody disaster, but it's actually it's come come back good. Nothing to worry about. Look at that. Nothing broken. We're fortunate that actually the cover goes that way. That way, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So um, the miso's feeling a bit crook. So I've been driving all day. And I'm knackered. Are you feeling better? A bit. I wonder what the issue Sorry is. What are you trying to say? <laughs> let us know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to let us know in the comments. Nah. <laughs> What's our battery on? Did it work? Seventy-six percent, darling. It must oh. be. Yeah. All right, let's kick it, rip it. I might go and see if Dad needs me to drive his car. It's 40 minutes to go. Yep. Alright, <clears throat> I'll see what the old man's up to. No worries. What's going on? You right? Yeah, I'm right. You want me to drive? No, I'm good. Oh. <laughs> that other car that pulled up behind us. Yeah. Woman went in there. The son went in the other one. The woman went in that one. Yeah. She come up. She's near throwing her, throwing up. Yeah. That's what I was saying. <laughs> That's why I said <laughs> Laura went in to use the caravan one because they're they're just filth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are. Even the one where we stopped last time was yeah. disgraceful. Yeah. Garbage yeah, bins overflowing. That run was that road was terrible. Yeah. Wasn't it? Was, yeah. Bloody windy too. Yeah, yeah. Did you see the van going. getting blown around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, we've got about 40 minutes to go. Yeah. Yeah. So let's get into it. Greg's not very good on this car. Just push it in, though. Laura's getting the grand tour on foot. Yeah, obviously. Here she comes. Oh, she's got a jog up. She's excited. You got a jog okay, you got well, a you got a jog up? Turns out that this is quite a cracking spot. You're gonna be impressed and they allow fires. OMG, lucky King brought the wood. I know. <laughs> well done, King Billy. Our oh, site it looks is good. huge. We face the dam, which looks like a river, and 
There's heaps of space. It's a little bit boggy. That's why he wanted me to come and check it out. Marimbula Lake Holiday Park. It's more, it's more near Pambula. It's more, it's closer to Pambula. But anyway, we're on the, we're a fair way out of town, but I'm liking it. Have a look at this. We are set up, beer in hand, sun's out, ducks are playing in the in the lake, and we've got this whole corner spot to ourselves. So really happy with that. Although we had a little bit of drama before. This massive branch off that tree come crashing down. So that there, my friend, is why you don't park directly under trees. Now I know there's a branch sort of near us and that tree goes down, we're probably gone. But the park assures us that the arborists have checked it and they said it's fine. They must have missed that branch. Anyway, yeah, really, really liking this park. We can have fires, you can have dogs. Um, it's not total fire bound season at the moment. They've had a heap of rain here, so it's so green and beautiful. Look at that. Dad's all set up. Uh, the gazebo is not high enough to go over the top, but at least he has a bit of sheltered area there anyway, so he should be happy with that. Let's we'll see what Laura's cooking cooking up here oh well we <laughs> have a look at this and the smell Ooh. I was just thinking is that a bit of rang bang it is we didn't show you what we cooked last night at Malay Point but Troy made an amazing roast beef on the barbecue and I don't know why we didn't film it it was quite nice it was really good so I was just thinking as I was making this that we don't go cheap on or we don't skim on camping do we we actually eat, we eat really well. well. Yeah. So next time, no dogs on tour. I've been saying this for years. Um, that smells amazing. Dad's just having a shower, so I can't wait to get into that. That looks yeah. so good. So we did this at home, the Malaysian beef rendang. We put it in the slow cooker. This is cucumber and yogurt and a bit of salt and coriander. That's jasmine rice just done in the microwave. Papadums and baby potatoes. So we bought these baby potatoes and we put them in this oh, yeah. cocoa. That's your new bag that you... Perfect potato. And Where'd you get that from? Um, Harris scarf. So it's better to use these baby ones because they work really well. Four minutes in the microwave and they're done. No boiling potatoes. I wonder what that is. It's like a foam, is it? You can probably make it at home, to be honest. It's just a little pouch. Hmm. It feels, it feels just like, it feels like a, a baby sleeping bag. Yeah. Probably the best way to describe it. But the potatoes have come out really well. Yeah. So looking forward to that. That's going to be beautiful. Like I said, Dad's just having a shower. Harrison's kicking back on our bed, just watching a bit of TV, smashing down a few cold cokes. And um, Coco's just being her usual self. You know, if no one's, if no one's with her, that's it. It's all. She, miss, she feels like she's missing out. Yeah, it's man down, man it's down. Molly. You've got Molly with you. Moosey. Hey, girl. 
See, Molly's never a problem. Look at her. She's just always happy. We've got some friends here in Marimbula as well. So we're going to go and catch up with them later, uh, watch the sunset. Um, we're going to have a fire here. So happy days ahead. <laughs> you look like a schoolboy. <laughs> I'm young at heart. <laughs> we're here in the outskirts of Marimbula on the other side of Very the lake. Very much the outskirts. Yeah, more we, near Pambula. We thought we were going to be right on the lake in Marimbula and just walk to town, but no. Didn't but, we didn't research this one very well. No, nah, but the thing is, it's actually worked out quite well. It is hectic in town, like yeah. you cannot move. It's You should see some of the parks. Everyone's just jam-packed next to each other. Like the park here, we've got this whole area to ourselves. Look at this, look at this. This is all our site, basically from that tree to that pole is our site but because there's no more sites here they said we can use this whole thing hello Muzi you've escaped so we've got New Year's Eve here tonight uh, we'll have a nice fire have some friends over a couple of followers have actually just seen us um, and they they might come and join us yeah. which is nice you're probably wondering why I've got the backpack I've got my little cut lunch I'm taking Harrison to Magic Mountain and Laura's off to the markets. Yeah. So I might put some footage in and show you some of the rides there at uh, Magic Mountain. Yeah, Harrison's taking the GoPro 9, so I said take it down the water slides if you can, mm. take it on the rides. I've been a few times before, so I don't need to go again, so. My first time, I'm excited. Yeah. Pulled all the way back to the top. How's the serenity? This is how you tire the dogs out before New Year's Eve. Because <laughs> when the fireworks come, it's full panic station.
Yeah. <laughs> Is that why you're growling, Moo? Is it those two shadows? Yeah. yeah. I'll get. I'll get me some proper. Oi, oi, oi. Get, wait, is that the one that has the green light? Because that's yeah. not going to scare him off. Molly? Oh. Coco? Ah, uh ah! -uh. <coughs> it's a little Lee. <laughs> Molly? Back it up, please. <laughs> I need to get your outfit, Jazz. Turn around. Mm. Look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> Wait, she's back there. What's the time are we getting now? Oh, it's only 9.35. At least you hang got on, it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Nice, babe. Hang on. That's, that's really going to pick up the tips. The club. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 right, Abel? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where's no. yours? No. I think yeah. you're going to make some for oh, Bill. Oh, nice. Harrison's no. got earphones on. <laughs> Shit. What you doing? It's all right. It's all right, darling. Cooey. Darling. It's all right, darling. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Me? I know, it's a scary time of year, isn't it? My baby. Molly doesn't even care, do you, Dal? It's all right, sweetheart. Okay, let's just sit in the toilet together. Calm down, Dal. All right. Okay, you got your jacket on. You've had your tablets. It's all right, sweetheart. Come sit with Dad. You go sit with Dad. Come on. Come on. Come with Mum. Come with Mum. I'm going to sit with Dad. Well, it's all happening here. So, New Year's Eve, 9.30. Sitting around the fire, having a good time. And then I get a call from work with the drama at work. Meanwhile, the fireworks start going off. So, I'm trying to sort, sort out stuff with work and help Coco in the toilet. So, it's never ending. It had to happen on New Year's Eve. I haven't had a call all week and then New Year's Eve and this happens. Huey, let's go sweetheart. It's all finished. It's all finished, Alan. It's all finished. Come on, mummy help you. Come on, let's go. Enjoy. All right, Laura's gonna go for a paddle. We, Harrison and I are going to walk the dogs because I can't, I'm actually not allowed to fall, Coco, not allowed to fall in the water and um, ruin my stitches. So no paddle boarding for me, but I probably wouldn't fall in, but just in case. Hopefully the weather clears up a bit, it's a bit overcast at the moment, but it's supposed to be about 28. We'll see what happens. What was in the water? Just knock off a few oysters on the way. Oh, this is going to be good. She hasn't done it for ages, so I reckon she's going to go in. Laura's hit a sandbar. The old get out and walk trick. At least it's nice and sandy there. 
the wind's in your face. And you've got a long way to go. No, it's not that far. I'll see you over the bridge. Right. Might not be paddling, I might be walking. Oh, it's much easier to just carry it. As long as I don't fall off the edge. Oh, the wind's bringing it back. All right, well, that didn't really go to plan. I was hoping to go out for a nice stand-up paddleboard, stand-up paddle to the kiosk. And then Molly cut her foot, so she's bleeding all over the boardwalk. This wind is not helping me. <clears throat> Troy's going back to get the car, meet Harrison at the kiosk, pick the dogs up, pick us up. Then we don't have to walk back, or I don't have to paddle back. Sometimes she, she takes off, she bites off more sh than she can chew. I think that's the same. Yeah. All right. I'm going to keep the fin on. Keep, keep it Time for some oysters. It's just for me and the old man, old King Billy. You looking forward to some oysters, King? Yeah. So you're looking a bit, you're looking a bit too salubrious with those shades on. Yeah, the I can do it. Yeah. No, you, next thing you'll have a pair because I know you love them. The breeze is nice. Sit there, Dad, in the shade. Yeah. All right, we're going with the oyster Kilpatrick. All round. No mix and match this time round. That's a little plain Jane dough. What are you having, sweetheart? <laughs> Garlic, bread. Garlic bread. Harrison? Garlic bread. Alright. Give me four go. Didn't it get any prawns, Bill? Yeah. King Billy knocked off me fork. Well, there was two on there. I didn't realise one was yours. <laughs> I only got a dozen. For how much? $25. Really? Mm. Who's been a good girl for once? Molly. What have you done, Molly? Big dog. Yeah. Moose.
job. Golden one. You see? <laughs> yeah. I need more of it. Well, let's try to get the moon done. It's a lot of white. <laughs> yeah. That's probably the starting point. You get the moon done and it's it'll lead in. All right. So a couple of days ago, we went to the camp kitchen up here at the caravan park Sorry. and got this puzzle so they have books and puzzles in the camp kitchen that you can um, read and and use while you stay here that's the moon right? and anyway when we got back from the beach today it was raining so we thought right we're going to get the puzzle out and the puzzle doesn't fit on the table or on the bench so it's on the floor and harrison and i've done the border they've, and then they've called up the big guns to finish the rest King Billy and myself. I am a big guy. So I had a charcuterie board going and we we're just eating and drinking and picking away at it. So we've got a few sections here done and so the boys are here to help. Yeah, it's a thousand pieces so mm. we'd probably be done by the time we finish uh, Gib River Road. <laughs> but there's no guarantee it's all there. <laughs> we won't know unless King, we finish King, it, Bill. Glass hey, half full. Hey, come on. Hey, listen. Come on, kid. If you got it from the kitchen, oh, there's no guarantees, but, baby. But, Bill, it came in, in snuplock yeah, bags. It, Someone's hey, looked but, after but it. You, you don't know some smarty decided to play mind games with you. <laughs> Maybe. But you, hang out in the very hey, I, 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 That's I'm all over it like a cheap suit. You won't know unless you actually put something together, oh, Bill. Oh, yeah. i got no hope. <laughs> Anyway, the dogs are yeah. passed out oh, on the yeah. bed. The dogs are loving it. That's the main thing. They're happy. We're all happy. Yeah. No. Let me show you our campsite. It's gone a bit, a little, a little bit. Worm, it's a bit loud the in there. Get going. Get campsite the is a little bit how you're going because it was raining and we had to do washing today. So I did the washing at the um, guest laundry and we just hung it up under here and on our clothesline on the other side and it actually dried really quickly but look everything's wet because we had a massive downpour before oh look there's kangaroos little ones starlink's working a treat everything's wet on king billy's trailer but yeah needs a little bit of a clean up out here all right 48 hours later or probably 24 hours no, later yeah Okay. And the puzzle is done. Look at that. A thousand pieces. Well done, gang. So, while I'll just turn it around, Harrison can explain what the movies are. Show him the puzzle. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it took me a real long while to do it, but I finally got through and done it. <laughs> we've, got a, we've got a hair clear out <laughs> like the caravan's lock so it's a, it's a, a thousand uh, piece jigsaw puzzle uh, you got to try and guess the movies so there are a hundred movies in there a oh, hundred? yeah oh. can, can you find the a hundred movies in this puzzle? alright so point some out okay so you've got like uh, finger down there <sighs> Uh, you've got American Pie, because you've got the pie and the American flag. Uh, you've got, uh, the, the Wizard of Oz, because Australia and is a wizard. Uh, then here you've got Ant-Man, because it's an ant and a man. Uh, this one, which we actually thought was it, the horror movie, because of the red balloon, but it's actually The Dark Knight Rises, because it's a... Night rising in the sky. Um, Little Miss Sunshine. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, lock, stop. Yeah, tang. That's tangled because he's tangled in the vines, and then that's lock, stock, and two smoking barrels. Because mm. the lock, the stock, and the two smoking barrels. The Lion King. The Lion King. Uh. Hmm. What's what? this tiger? Oh, that's, that's snakes on a plane. Mm. There's a very cool puzzle to do. We stayed yeah. up till about 11 o'clock last night doing it. Got up early this morning and just um, tackled away at it. We also went to the movies today as well. Yeah, a very relaxing day. Mm. So there you go. That, that puzzle straight from the camp kitchen. All pieces there. 
and every yep. single piece is still in there so and the way we got it <clears throat> was the previous user put all the the edges in one bag and all the other interior parts in another bag so we're going to do the same to help the next person now i don't want to mess it up <laughs> break it up darling break it up but it shows that we're going to get bring more more puzzles on tour and um, we've got to get a puzzle mat today. We're going to go back into town, aren't we? Yes, we are, darling. Yes, we are. Okay. <laughs> Come out of the dark, darling. Out of the dark. Dun, dun, dun. Well, this is it. Marimbula. Bye for now. Done and dusted. God, it went quick. Yeah, it didn't go to plan. Like, not everything went to plan. We had a few issues. But, you know, like they always say, you just got to sometimes take it on the chin. What did go to plan? <laughs> and I took it on the chin, all right. <laughs> oh, you idiot. Uh, yeah, we had a... Um, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode uh, as much as we enjoy filming them <laughs> and we get a good laugh. We did a lot in a week and it's it wasn't the trip that I thought it would be. I thought I'd be sitting on the beach each day, just relaxing, yeah. chilling, but no, there was always something to do. There was always something going wrong. Mm. We were always driving or cleaning or something <clears throat> yeah that's anyway. that's the reality of of uh camping and caravanning yeah you've got to expect that not everything's going to go to plan so yeah. you've just got to roll with the punches so we've got a list of things to do when we get home we've got a week at home before we hit, head on our lap mm. and uh, a few things we've got to do to the caravan a few things we've got to buy pack a few things we've got to leave behind yes and that's it Right. Yeah. Now we're going home 6 a.m. tomorrow. We leave. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It actually helps us immensely. And thanks to all the people that come and say hi to us yeah. on this trip. We've had a lot of people that bumped into us at we different do. places, at restaurants and stuff like that. So yeah. it's really good to have a, a good chat with like-minded people. Mm. We'll see you on the next one. See the big guys. lap. The big lap. Oh, did we tell you we got no power? We finished the episode with, we finished the trip with absolutely no power. The battery's completely turned yeah, off. Yeah, do you know why? Have a look at the sky. Yeah. There's no sun there. Well, oh, we've had a couple of days of no sun and then we're charging Dad's Blue Eddy. And his fridge. And his fridge for a while. So we've, we're out of power, but that's okay. We're all... It's, we're up at the crack of dawn tomorrow. Yeah. And we're taking off.